So you're interested in sharing documents and handouts with your students through Moodle. One of the best ways to do this is using the link to a file function inside the resource menu when your editing is turned on. Go ahead and turn editing on in your course and drop down the add a resource menu to choose link to a file or website. The reason that link to a file or website are grouped together in this case is because you're actually going to be creating a URL or a web address for the file. By uploading it into Moodle, you are placing the document on the web and giving it a web address. So the website and the file use the same function to be linked to through Moodle. The link to a file or website page is very simple. Give your resource a name, and if you're doing a document, I recommend that you give your users some sort of a hint or a preview as to what they're getting when they click on it. For example, if I was going to do a Moodle checklist that I'm going to be uploading, and it's a PDF document, I might put in parentheses after it, PDF. Or I might put in here, need Adobe Reader to view. That way my users are clear as to what kind of document it is. I prefer to use just the PDF after the, link, the name of the resource. The summary for the link to a file is optional, but you can give some more information if you'd like. And then you're going to use the same link to a file or website area to choose your file. Instead of adding a URL here, you're going to click Choose or Upload a File. You'll get your files area for the online learning course. You're going to click Upload a File, just like you would for any other file function. Browse for the file. Then click Open. Upload the file. And then most people are tempted to check the box off to the side to select it. This is actually not the way you choose files for use in Moodle. You come over here to the Action column on the right-hand side and click Choose. That will drop the name of the file into the location. In the Window area, the settings for a link to a file as opposed to a link to a website are going to vary just a little. First, if you'd like the, do the, the document to open in a new window, you're going to have a new window pop open with a link to the file. For example, you'll get a new pop-up that says, click here to download the Moodle checklist PDF. Uh, some people find this kind of cumbersome and an extra step that they don't really like, so they'll choose to open it in the same window. However, this also can look frustrating to some people because students still have to click again to download the document. So many people will check this box, the Force Download box. For this item, you, your file will automatically be downloaded to the desktop, the Documents folder, or another location that your computer has determined it will save Internet files. This will vary for each user. I'm going to force the download for this document. Come down here to the bottom. I don't need to change any parameters or common module settings for this document. And I'm going to click Save and Return to Course. Now the icon for a document is going to change to correspond to the kind of document that Moodle recognizes. Some files still aren't recognized by Moodle, such as Apple's Keynote documents and the new version of Microsoft Office, or the DocX, XLSX files. Uh, that icon will simply be a plain sheet of paper icon, and it might have a question mark on it, since Moodle is still trying to figure out what those extensions mean. For a PDF, you'll get the Adobe Reader icon. For a Word document, you'll get the Word icon. So your students will have a little bit of information as to what file they're about to click on. When I click on Moodle Checklist, I'll see a short pop-up of the Downloads window, and it goes away. And I've got a copy of the Moodle Checklist now on my desktop. If I want to go back in and edit this and show you what it looks like when you do, an, do the uh, download from a new window, I click on the Update icon and I can't change it. Once I go to the Force Download option, my options are set and are locked. So I really do need to set that up ahead of time if I'm going to be uh, desiring the document be downloaded from a new window or in the same window. Save and Return to Course takes me back to the main page. That's all.